हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड नोन टू एवरी वन एम देवानंद राजपूत वेलकम बैक टू इन दिस न्यू सेशन 2020 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी वन एज यू नो स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम टूडे वी विल स्टडी जोग्राफी एवरी डे वी विल प्रजेंट हेयर विद ए न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट विद ए न्यू टॉपिक and i hope that you will study through online teaching and if you have any kind of query any kind of difficulty hopefully you will ask me and i will resolve it it is very critical time for us you know very well in our country there is a epidemic disease corona it means covid 19 so in what way we can fight it by concerning this matter we have to start our session very successfully by study through the different different topic different different teaching methods different concept and i hope that each and every day you will concern about it and also it will be online as well as i hope your parent will cooperate to you for online study okay let's start our study from geography you know according to our syllabus in this new session there will be three books as i told in audio first book fundamentals of human geography second economy of the country and uh, third one practical work in geography it is known part second and part first is known for class 11th so there will be three books i hope that you will purchase these three books ncert books so let's start our uh, chapter or topic from chapter number first human geography nature and scope that you will see i want to ask you who is the father of geography we should know about it because we are the student of geography certainly you should know about who is the father of geography so the person name is eratosthenes but if anyone is asking you who is the father of modern geography certainly you have to tell him or her karl ritter so this is the difference between two person only the father of geography eratosthenes and the father of modern geography karl ritter let's start our topic from the introduction of nature and scope of human geography as you know student we talk about the human geography certainly we should think about the human concerning of human between the human and the physical environment that is the nature forever we are seeing that if we talk about the primitive societies they discussed they depended their life on the physical environment completely either according to the existence means existence of the technology slowly slowly we are moving towards the modern technology and also we are uh, setting up and upgrading our life by using the technology and our skills but if we talk about the relationship between the human to the physical environment certainly we have to say human is depending on the nature completely if any kind of item we are receiving from nature certainly we can it from nature primarily but after using the technology after using our resources and skills certainly we can modify it according to our needs or wants but example the primitive societies it means the early human their life completely depended on physical environment or the nature so we can understand the relationship between nature and human if we talk about the earth environment we have to think about the component of the earth environment 
so there are two component that is first the natural we can say physical environment and other one human beings it is known the human environment but what is the interrelationship between human and physical environment either we are developing with a newer technology or the existence of technology but without nature we can't get any kind of product any kind of raw materials for making any item whatever we are using in our everyday life student i want to say you what is the meaning of human geography as you know the meaning of human geography we can say the relationship between physical environment that is the nature and human world whole community of the world so the relationship between human and the natural environment is known human geography how we are depending on the nature and how we can modify the nature to fulfill our needs also day to day we are depending on the different different products that we get primarily from nature move ahead there was a german geographer who said and described a state or country as a living organism any state any country or the boundary of the nation certainly it is the living organism who are living in the uh, geographical boundary of the country either the human beings and the, any living beings like flora and fauna also but this is the circulation dynamic relation between the human and changing atmosphere changing nature changing physical environment move ahead i want to to uh, tell you the definition of it is described by radgel a scholar or geographer human geography is the synthetic study synthetic study of the relationship between human activities with the physical environment it is the definition given by radgel who is the geographer now we will move ahead changes in the physical environment physical environment you know when we talk about the physical environment certainly we have to describe the changes in the physical environment according to the our needs and wants we are changing the environment and we are fulfilling our needs so this is the close relationship between human and the physical environment either we developed a, a newer technology but yet we are depending on the nature this is the close relation we move ahead and also we will discuss about the definition of red gel also we studied after that uh, very important changes in the environment what are the changes changes in the environment as we require any kind of item or product to fulfill our needs sir we are changing or modifying the environment of the physical environment as you seen different different infrastructure we can see on the earth surface like houses settlements road highways railways ponds canals airports different different stadium parks or the playground these are the changes or the modification of environment but these are the changes we are doing to fulfill our needs we will move ahead there is very important topic in this concept of environmental determination what is the determination it mean what is the factor who can determine the life of human with changing environment so that is first component naturalization of human what is the naturalization of human we can see human naturalization it means this is the best example if we remember that the life of primitive societies or the early human early human was depending completely on the physical environment it means we can adopt our life we can make adaptation this is the naturalization if we are depending completely on the nature certainly it is the naturalization of human and according to our needs we can modify the nature and also we can make adaptation 
सो दिस इज नेचुरलाइजेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन सेकेंड कंपोनेंट ऑफ डिटर्मिनिज्म दैट इज ह्यूमनाइजेशन ऑफ नेचर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक यू कैन क्लियर इट अ नेचुरलाइजेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन एंड ह्यूमनाइजेशन ऑफ नेचर फर्स्ट वी हैव टू कंसिडर एंड डिफरेंटिएट बिटवीन टू कॉन्सेप्ट वंस अगेन नेचुरलाइजेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन एंड ह्यूमनाइजेशन ऑफ नेचर वंस नेचुरलाइजेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन इज रिलेटेड टू द प्राइवेटिव लाइफ एंड ह्यूमनाइजेशन ऑफ नेचर जस्ट रिलेटेड टू द मॉडर्न लाइफ वट इज द मॉडर्निटी ऑफ ह्यूमन नाउ इट इज इफ वी मॉडिफाइड द नेचर वी चेंज द नेचर एंड ऑल्सो वी आर यूजिंग डे टू डे न्यूअर टेक्नोलॉजी एंड ऑल्सो वी आर चेंजिंग द नेचुरल फिनमिनान फिजिकल नेचर फिजिकल इन्वायरमेंट सर्टेनली दिस इज द ह्यूमनाइजेशन ऑफ नेचर इट मीन्स वी गॉट विक्टरी ऑन नेचर बट नॉट कंप्लीटली ऑल्सो वी आर यूजिंग द टेक्नोलॉजी वी आर चेंजिंग द नेचर दिस इज द ह्यूमनाइजेशन ऑफ नेचर इट इज ऑल्सो एडोप्टेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू नीड एंड वॉन्ट्स ऑफ ह्यूमन वी आर चेंजिंग द नेचर यू कैन सी सो मेनी फॉरेस्ट ट्रीज प्लांट्स एंड द मिनरल रिसोर्स वी आर एक्सप्लाइटिंग नेचुरल फॉरेस्ट वी हैव कट डाउन दीज आर द चेंजेस according to wants we are cutting the forest according to wants or needs we are extracting the minerals under the surface so it is very much required to make adaptation the process of humanization on nature whatever we are changing the physical environment it is humanization of nature you can see so much example in our surroundings so many settlement housings high rising tower or buildings these are the humanization so much infrastructure on the earth surface railways highways airports roads and other construction works it is humanization on nature so we can determine it there are three component or three factors related to this concept there was a geographer named griffith taylor griffith taylor taylor told or described and he termed there is a middle path madhyam marg beech ka rasta kiske beech ka hai not primitive not modern it means you can observe if you visited any city or metropolitan city like delhi mumbai chennai certainly will find traffic lights i hope that you are knowing about it there are three colors of traffic lights that is first red color red signal refers to stop yellow color get ready for moving and third one green color just it signify you can move now according to this concept griffith taylor related his concept he told middle path no need to red signal no need to primitive life and no need to green signal or modern life we can adopt a middle path that is the concept you can understand why this term that is new determinism what is new determinism it means neither primitive life nor modern life we have to consider we have to concern about new path or new determinism it means we can use yellow middle path as we are using the term yellow color for traffic light so what is the advantage of to use the middle path we have to concern about it because either so much and so many minerals can be seen on the surface under the surface over the surface and also we are using by uh, technology these natural resources we are converting to the final product and also we are using in everyday life 
बट आफ्टर डेट वी हैव टू कंसर्न हाउ लॉन्ग वी कैन यूज इट बिकॉज देर इज लिमिटेशन द स्टॉक्स एंड रिजर्व ऑफ द मिनरल्स आर लिमिटेड वी कॉन्ट एक्सटेक्ट फॉर ए लॉन्ग टर्म दैट इज वेरी मच रिकाय टू फाइंड आउट मिडिल पथ एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव टू कंसर्न दिस मेथड देर आर थ्री टर्म एनवायरमेंट डिटर्मिनेट दैट इज द रेड कलर पॉसिबल इज दैट इज द ग्रीन कलर इट मीन्स एनवायरमेंट डिटर्मिनेशन रेफर्स अ रेड कलर नो नीड टू डिटर्मिनेशन इट मीन्स द नेचुरल फिनोमिनान और द फिजिकल एनवायरमेंट डिटरमाइंड अस इट मीन्स डिपेंडेंसी ऑफ द नेचुरल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द नेचुरल एनवायरमेंट एन अदर हैंड वेन यू टॉक अबाउट द पॉसिबिलिटी इट मीन्स ग्रीन सिग्नल वी कैन मूव गो फॉर दर इट मीन्स दैट इज सो मच पॉसिबिलिटी वी कैन यूज द फॉरेस्ट वी कैन यूज द नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज ऑफ द मिनरल्स एंड ऑल्सो वी कैन मॉडिफाई द नेचुरल प्रोडक्ट एंड नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज एज ए रॉ मेटेरियल और मॉडिफिकेशन इन द नेचुरल एनवायरमेंट बट वी हैव नॉट टू यूज एनवायरमेंट एंड डिटरमिनेट ऑल्सो वी हैव नॉट टू यूज पॉसिबिलिटी दैट इज द ग्रीन बट वी हैव टू चूज अ मिडिल पथ दैट इज न्यू डिटर्मिनेशन इट मीन्स एलो सिग्नल it means by using elo by using middle path we can conserve our forest without damaging our environment we have to use the natural forest natural minerals natural product and natural raw materials whatever we can find in natural environment or the physical environment that is the nature so don't forget we have to adopt middle path either we can adopt a modern life we can live our life on the basis of modernity by using technology machines and equipment but also don't forget middle path students today's we are ending our session our class thank you so much